Hello, my dear friends. This is a very interesting chart of um, this is the market cap of uh, all coins. Uh, as you can see now, it's uh, at uh, 100 billion here, um, uh, at the line of 100 billion. And it's coming from uh, a bottom here, but you have to be careful because this is logarithmic. It is so it goes from a market cap of 100 million, 1 billion, 10 billion, 100 billion. So it's always times 10. But um, if you're in the half, like this, this looks like it's a little above the half. But because it's always times 10, that's also counts for in between here. And that's why. Um, even though the bottom was uh, uh, 3 billion uh, in, uh, in 2015, eh? uh, 3 billion, uh, here it looks like it's 7, eh? because it's over half, but, uh, but that's because it's logarithmic, uh, it's a little bit uh, tricky. Uh, so, um, uh, but anyway, uh, so, so, so as you can see, uh, what I love about this chart is is that it really gives a very clear view uh, where I how high it is valued compared to its past um, valuations, um, and, and so the the purple line line is um, is the average, um, uh, and um, and sometimes the price of all coins uh, is, uh, is 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 seriously above the average, and sometimes it's seriously below the average. And, and, and that's why this spread is very uh, interesting uh, to see how much exactly it is above the average. Eh? So, for example, the bubble here in 2011 here, um, uh, it went to 1,300% above the average. Hmm? And uh, then you had uh, in 2011, after that 2012, uh, a crash. Uh, it dropped. And this is... Uh, for all coins together, but of course, in the beginning was just Bitcoin. It's only after a while that all the other coins start counting. Eh? But uh, but I do think it's very good idea to look at all uh, all coins together to to judge whether the bubble is over. Because if you just look at Bitcoin, uh, Trollolo, who made this chart, also made one originally of Bitcoin, and 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 there it looks like Bitcoin is still very cheap because it's still considerably below. Uh, it's um, um, below its uh, past performance. Um, let me quickly, quickly take that. So here you can see the one of Bitcoin, but this last one that Trollolo made was in um, at the start of this year, so it's it's not been updated for half a year. But as you can see, um, we're now in the middle of 2017. So so and the price is about 2k. So it's now about on uh, on on about uh, the average. Um, so the price of Bitcoin, if you look at its past performance, is still not overvalued. Uh, it's actually fairly valued. Um, it's only when it would go to uh, yeah um, above three four k that it would be above its uh, average. Uh, but um, it can go a lot higher than just a little above the average. But, but the problem with this chart is that I think that um, it is possible that Bitcoin fails to continue its past growth, fails to follow that. If it loses the market, well, that growth is not uh, assured. And, and, and if Bitcoin does really stupid stuff and, and, and clearly it is losing the market, well, then, then it's really uncertain and this becomes very unreliable to judge whether Bitcoin is fairly valued because if it loses the market, it will not continue its past growth path. Eh? And so since the start of the year, uh, the amount of transactions has been peaking out. Uh, it could not go up due to that. Uh, uh, the, the fees have been going up a lot, but the amount of transactions hasn't gone up. Uh, and due to the rising fees, uh, many have um, switched to competitors um, for speculation, but also for real, real utility, uh, um, uh, 
for the dark market you have uh, Monero that's being used uh, on some dark markets next to uh, Bitcoin. Um, Zcash will also soon be adopted in some dark market, but I saw for example a VPN provider accepted next to Bitcoin also Zcash. Many Bitcoin only services are, have, are starting to implement Shapeshift so that they can accept all kind of uh, coins. Um, Steam, for example, is used to pay uh, people uh, as a reward for um, uh, blog posts. And uh, I'm sure there are some other coins that also used. Ethereum is used a lot to finance ICOs. And so um, for real utility, uh, um, not just holding uh, for it to go up in value, but to actually to, to use for stuff, some coins have uh, gained market. Um, Clams is still used to gamble uh, on some website exclusive, exclusively, uh, and Bitcoin can't be used there. Um, and that's just, I, I'm sure there are other examples too. But um, this is very interesting to see. Uh, I, I think Bitcoin, uh, but, but the thing is, we have to judge here uh, whether this, uh, this bull market is, is seriously over, uh, coming to an end or not. Uh, and for that, I have in the past been able to use this chart very well. This was really helpful to judge if, if, if the price is relatively high or relatively low. Um, and, 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 and has helped me a lot. But since this year, 2017, I don't think we can just use this chart anymore because Bitcoin is losing market share. And, and I think we should look at all coins together uh, to judge whether we're relatively highly valued or not. So um, let's go to, uh, to, uh, to that one. So and if we look here uh, at all coins, uh, I think this is the most interesting part here where we are. And, and so in 2015 and 2016, we had a very deep, a very, very deep uh, de depression. Uh, deeper than, than what happened in 2012. Um, that's very interesting um, because if you look at uh, prices like, oh, in 2011 it went to $30 and then it crashed to $3, that's a much bigger crash than in, for example, um, uh, 2013 it went from 1000 to 160 Well, I mean, uh, Three to three, uh, thirty to three is a bigger crash, but but you have to compare it to to the, the the average growth rate, and that's the purple line. And if you compare it to the average growth rate, actually, it didn't go as deep in these past uh, depressions than in the recent one. And so, um, it actually went pretty deep to minus 67% below uh, its past growth that was then uh, here somewhere. Uh, and, and even though the price has been rising uh, since uh, 2015, uh, the price has been rising, or at least the market cap um, of all coins has been rising, but the relative value versus the past growth has continued to be depressed. Eh? And it was even uh, more, uh, so here you can see, uh, yeah, it was around minus 65% the whole time. And it's only this year in 2017 uh, that the price uh, really started going up. And, and only the last two, three months that the price really has uh, picked up and has gone above its average uh, valuation. And... Um, and so now we can say objectively that it is overvalued. But uh, the question is, of course, um, how high can it be overvalued? Because if you jump off here and it goes to here, well, you're going to sit on sore grapes. Huh? Uh, so so um, what I think is interesting to judge here is, is, of course, that you have to look at what can happen. What can happen? What has happened in the past? It has gone from zero in one line, 2,300%. Okay, this was the first big bubble of Bitcoin at the time, uh, but that's, that, that's, that's possible. Then when market cap went, it became a lot bigger, and uh, we had here, uh, because this was uh, when it went from basically, you see that, uh, less than 10 million, 8 million, eh, to a market cap of 100 million. That's, 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 that's this big growth here that we saw. But, 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 but 
when market cap was already 100 million here we had a new growth and here we can see it went from minus 51 percent to 280 percent i think this is very interesting in the most comparable line for our bubble because market cap was already bigger and it went basically from 100 million to 1 billion and uh, and, and and so this was the the, the the growth and as you can see if we would have a bubble today comparable to the first bubble of 2013 this can go considerably higher it started a little lower here minus 60 minus 50 but it went to 270 so this could go not to 80 percent but it could go to let's say 200 percent and right now uh, the average here this average it looks like it's 80 billion eh? if you would do it like this but you have to uh, take into account that this is actually um uh, logarithmic so actually this is not 80 but 60. and and so right now the average uh, valuation of, of of all coins together is 60 billion and so we're 84 percent above that uh, now at around 100 billion um, but let's say it goes to 200 percent well uh, in uh, next month let's say it grows in in the meantime from 60 to 70 200 percent uh, is 70 times 1 is 140 times 2 is uh, 210 and so so if it would go to say 200 percent over overvaluation we would go to about a 200 billion market cap um, uh, valuation uh, so this is possible and, and I find this very interesting. Uh, this would just basically be repeating what has happened in the past because this chart is very helpful for me because I thought we were already there. We will, uh, no, no, I said also in the past videos, 150 billion, 200 billion would be comparable growth to this uh, first bubble of 2013 uh, and 100x basically of the coin market cap of 3 billion from, uh, not 100, but a little bit less, 80 or so, from 3 billion to then 200 billion, that would be about times 80 or times 70 from the low. That That is possible. Um, and, and so, uh, and, and this chart confirms that that is possible. But we, you could also have a mega bull that's possible, like the first one here in 2011, where it goes to 1000% in one time from zero to 1000. And that would mean that it would probably go to somewhere here around 500 or so from minus 60 to 500 and that would mean that we're not going to 200 billion but to 400 billion but that's the peak you see in the past it never did more than that in one line and after that you had a big correction eh? so 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 that's possible but unlikely i think it's more likely actually that this bull will be a little bit weaker than the previous one because the the, the, the we start now at at higher valuations, eh? 1 billion. Here, this was from 100 million to 1 billion, but now we're starting basically at 10 billion. Eh? So we start 10 times higher than this bubble. So the, 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 the momentum may still be high, but still percentage-wise, um, as you can see, this logarithmic chart, this flattens out, it goes like this. You see, the growth is not going like this. The growth going like this, it, the growth is going down over time, that's normal. Eh? Of all coins, eh, the growth is going down over time. And so uh, it's normal that here you're going to have, it's going to go farther from the line in the beginning. Eh? And, and over time it's going to stay closer to this line. Eh? And so I think that 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 that... that it may from here correct, uh, let's say it can correct back to the line uh, or a little bit below even. Eh? And so we could go to 50 billion and then the bull could continue. That would be the same pattern as in 2013. And then the, the bull could continue and it could go to, well, it went 2000, here uh, 300, 2000, maybe it goes this, this time to 700. And eh? let's say this happens at the end of the year, by that time, we're not at a, an average of 60 billion, but maybe 80 billion times seven is, uh, that's five, 600 billion. So that's possible, but it's not so likely this will happen in one line. It's much more likely to happen via a correction and then a, a new bull. Uh, it's more likely. Huh? Uh, but I think that, that, that this is a, a very, very interesting uh, chart to, to um, yeah, 
for, for me, it has uh, basically, uh, for me, I think it, it's, interest, it's, it's, it's worthwhile to take some money off the table and try to play this. Uh, correction is certainly possible here. Uh, and, and, but I also think that this is not extreme overvaluation at all. Uh, we can certainly go to a lot higher. We can go to three, four hundred percent, I think. And so that's that's. Uh, and in the meantime, it only goes up this purple line. So 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 I do think that that um, uh, yeah, five hundred billion is actually a very likely a scenario to happen um, quite soon. Huh? Uh, this because it took so long that we have been below. Huh? When, when you're for a long time below. Uh, the, the average valuation well you're gonna be a long time above it too huh? and so we just came above it so this is just the start uh, in a way of an era of overvaluation that we will likely get here for the whole of 2017 2018 we will likely get a whole era of overvaluation the question is how high will it go and, and it can certainly go to 500% um, and in the meantime goes up, this probably goes up to let's say 80, 90, 100 billion over, over the next year, 80 let's say, uh, times 5, yeah that's 500 billion, eh? um, no times 6, 500% is times 6, eh? so, so, so that's why I think uh, I've been a little bit too aggressive in, in selling in the past, I, I've gone to a majority of fiat, um, already at, uh, at, at when the market cap was uh, 75 billion and would if I would have seen this chart then I wouldn't have done that because it would have told me look uh, 75 billion is high compared to the recent past that's true but compared to the whole history this is not a high valuation it can go much higher and and so uh, so you should still be invested it's only at points where you're at high risk scenarios especially here of course and here that you want to have like only a very a minority of crypto but as long as you are basically like haven't reached high risk territory i don't think you should be a minority crypto you can still be a majority crypto at 84 percent in my opinion eh? so so voila um i hope you enjoyed this video guys please uh, donate to trollolo so he has uh, in a Bitcoin talk uh, a thread about this. Uh, you can find it in the forum uh, economics and then you have a sub forum speculation and there uh, you will find uh, this thread. Um, uh, and, and, and it's from the author uh, Trollololo. But you can just scan this and, and, and give him a, a donation, a Bitcoin donation uh, if you value this work. If this work helps you to make money, uh, please do so. Bye-bye.